Welcome to Callahan Aircraft Services series of structural analysis on aircraft. Today we're going to talk about the four modes of failure of a shear joint. There are four modes of failure of a shear joint. In school you may have learned three because they omit tear out. Because in school they think everything's done right. In the real world it's not. Okay, so we're going to do tension. Now this is pretty simple. This is the old tug of war. You're going to pull on something and then you have the cross-sectional area which is the width times the thickness. So P, which means point load. Some people use F for force. We use L for load, but then that gets confusing later on. So we use P for the point load equals the area, thickness times the width, times the allowable. The allowable is how strong the material is. Is it a rubber band or is it steel? They're different strengths, different properties. We'll discuss allowables in another video. So that's tension. Shear, we're talking about the fastener shearing in two. So it just So the plate is loaded, the other plate's loaded, pulled and it shears along the, the shear plane at the fastener and again it's area pi r squared times the allowable equals your load capability okay then we come down to bearing bearing is the fastener pushing on the material bearing on the material and its area even though the hole is radial the area is diameter times thickness. Diameter times, diameter times thickness is your area times its allowable for bearing equals a load capability. But you can see why we don't want to use F over here because we're using F over here. We'll, use, we'll explain that later. Now we have tear out. This is the one they don't teach you in school usually because they assume you have adequate edge margin. That's what my design handbook said. It, you must have adequate edge margin. Wow, that really helped me when I didn't have adequate edge margin. So the load P tearing out at a 45, 40 degree angle right here and right here. There's two shear planes that it's tearing out on. Otherwise, that's called shear out also. But we have P equals two times the edge margin minus S, so we get this area, times the thickness, times the allowable of the material. This is the allowable of the fastener, this is the allowable of the material. Can get confusing, and it does, and people do make that mistake. Now, this is a stringer clip off a of 747-200, I believe it was 200. This is a bearing failure that went into a tear out failure. As you can see it, it slotted the hole, failing in bearing, and then it just got too short, and then it tore out. But at that point, the load was released to the other fasteners. In other words, this load, this fastener, this rivet became unloaded. These are the rivets that pull, and these were being reacting the other way into the skin. So it's a later video. We'll explain stringer clips. And that's all we have.